So while the gang are busy burglarizing the apartment of some yet unidentified chap or chapet, Powder wanders off on her own and stumbles into something grand. Something that will define this tale and change the course of fate itself. <laughs> what exactly are these sandwiches doing here? I'm being serious. It may seem inconsequential, but bear with me, I'm going somewhere with this. Judging by the steampunky yet advanced state of technology in Piltover, I'm going to go ahead and assume that cooling devices, fridges, are a thing that exist. Therefore, why would someone leave their lunch just laying there on the table? Why not put it away so that it stays fresh? There's nothing worse than stale ham and putrid salad between loaves. So immediately, we can deduce something from this. Either the owner of the apartment left in a hurry, or, more likely, they have stepped out for a quick while and will return at any moment. And that's exactly what ends up happening. The fact that Powder doesn't instantly recognize the danger and alert the others before it's already too late is... It's not good. You see? Everything that happens in this apartment, right now, the chaos that ensues after the kids are nearly caught red-handed, is the inciting incident from which every single plotline of this show spirals from. As such, it is omni-important to have it so that this event makes perfect sense. In general, the inciting incident is arguably the most important moment for any story to function. It's the event that kickstarts everything. It sets up the rules of the world in terms of tone and stakes. The writer needs to take extra care so that there are no contrivances, plot holes or devastating breaks in the consistency of the world or characterization. The writer is still in the middle of selling their story to the audience. And if any issue this early in the story becomes grand enough, it can lead to potential audience immediately calling bullshit, enjoying the work less, or even abandoning the story and moving on to something else. So let's scrutinize this. You might argue that Powder is in fact a stupid kid, she's got a one-track mind, She's preoccupied with all the stimuli around her, and so she isn't exactly thinking her best. Yes, sure, you could argue that. However, I would counter that by stating that I personally would prefer that the cohesion of the rest of the story isn't predicated upon the characters literally being too stupid to win. Furthermore, Powder's defining character trait going forth is to be of use to her sister and her friends. She fears being a burden above all else. And thus, I would imagine that she actually would be alarmed by something strange and surprising like this. Anything that could spell trouble for the rest of the group. I'm not saying this scenario is outright impossible. I'm saying that the fact that I'm even able to question this is already less good than it could possibly be. It teeters on the edge of a plot hole. An easy fix to erase this entire issue is to get rid of the sandwich, throw it in the trash, just don't have it. This was a conscious decision by the writers, and they could have just as easily made the exact opposite decision. Let's all take note of this. Every moment in every story manifests from the writer's decisions. Things do not simply happen. Every action has consequences. As for the immediate consequence, Powder discovers a chest full of these mysterious Azure gemstones. And as Trouble catches the gang off guard, Powder panics, hastily stuffs the gemstones in her pouch, and ends up missing one. Which, acting as the inciting incident of Arcane, reveals its secret volatile nature and blows half the floor into the ether. Yeah. 
Every action, every mistake has a consequence, no matter how minor. Shit. And as always, a massive thanks to each of you for sticking around for this long. And a special thanks goes to all the supporters on Patreon, as well as an extra special thanks to my 10 euro supporters, Wyland, Jesaja Vanderwatt, and Six Stars. If you would like to join these fine people, or check out any of my other creative stuff, all the links are down below. Take care everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.